are back here cooking in the vendor kitchen with chef and owner of the cottage, Brian Lewis, and we are making a delicious halibut dish. Halibut? Absolutely. Yep. Halibut. We have. <laughs> so it's a, a one of my favorite fish to uh, to cook very slowly. That's okay. The key, that's the key here. A lot of a lot of times, folks like to sear something really high heat, and I like to take the opposite approach. Um, so quickly, I'll give you the. Uh, the, the crash course on slow baking. Please do, because I right. don't know anything about it. So what we'll do is we'll take the halibut out of, out of the refrigerator for about 20, 30 minutes before you want to oh, actually Oh, so room temperature. It. You got it. Okay. It helps temper temper the fish so that it can easily, you know, and gently cook with these fig leaves, a little bit of uh, what's called beurre fondue, or just lightly melted butter. Okay? It's not okay. much. It looks like a lot, but it's not. A little bit of lemon olive oil. And it's just a really succulent, delicious approach, in my view, to to cooking gently. And quite frankly, it's pretty healthy. Okay. It's rather healthy. A little bit of fig leaf over the top. Is that going to adjust the flavor? Like, will you taste the fig leaf? It's amazing. It actually has a real coconut aroma to it. Wow. It's it's, it's incredible. And you bring it out, um, like I say, about 20, 30 minutes, as so, like so. Mm -hmm. Put it in the oven. Put it in our 275 degree. Oven. Okay. Now, how would you describe the flavor of halibut? It's not a, a real fishy fish. No, no. It's especially cooked this way. Mm -hmm. It's it really captures the essence of the fish without, without you know, just really concentrated flavor. And it has a, a real buttery flavor, real mm -hmm. su even sweet. Um, and and it has a also a little bit of a meaty texture, which I like to pair with some heady ingredients from spring, as we were talking earlier. Mm -hmm. We have these beautiful ramps, which are uh, kind of a cross between a, a wild garlic oh, and onion. I've never which, heard of those yeah. before. So we have, um, these are the tops, and they're, they're quite beautiful, which uh, we just slice real thinly, uh, along with the bottoms, which we've done here. Okay. The, uh, the, the white part. Oftentimes people take the white part of the, uh, of the ramp and pickle them to preserve them because the ramps are only available maybe a month, five weeks out of the year, oh. starting in the Pacific Northwest, moving their way to our backyard. Hot commodity then, yeah, all right? Yeah, they really are. And we, um, we like to uh, pair th these ramps, as I said, with a little bit of uh, some of the ingredients which we have cooking the fish. The lemon olive oil, so it's just mm -hmm. grated lemon zest with extra virgin olive oil. Okay. A little bit of English peas, which are beautiful, sweet, go wonderfully with ramps, kind of offset that garlicky onion flavor. And then we have morel mushrooms. So what I'll do is just take a little bit of our peas here. Okay. Now is this on the menu at the cottage? Oh yeah. It's is it a popular item? Quite. Quite popular. What else can we find on the menu? So as I said earlier, we, we really love to cook spontaneously and, and with a heavy, heavy hand in season, you know, with seasonality. So as, as my, as, uh, you know, rhubarb is available, beautiful rhubarb and asparagus, which kind of grow right next to each other. We pair that with a, a wild king salmon, which is baked in Japanese cedar paper. Um, that's a real big hit. Uh, we also have a dish which I call uh, duck fried rice, Ooh. which is uh, kind of a play on a the Chinese takeout, if you will. And it's a, a, a big cottage, big cottage fa favorite, I suppose. So here you have morel mushrooms, which are that that final final piece to the puzzle here, which are a uh, kind of smoky mushroom in a certain okay. sense. They they tend to grow again in the Pacific Northwest. Sometimes they'll come around in New York uh, toward toward the end of uh, the spring, early summer. You can find them in New York, um, and they they're a little spongy. They're a beautiful, beautiful mushroom, real meaty. Um, so the mushrooms, the peas, a little bit of the uh, the ramps, lemon olive oil. I think we'll add a little bit more salt. A and great it's just, recipe. It's just a really simple vegetable ragu, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, this time of year with the halibut. Well, I don't think people want to be eating that heavy this time of year either, right? I, I, I mean, I, come summertime. I totally agree. And, you know, the, the, the butter could easily be omitted. And, um, you know, it's, it's just a nice we'll go TV land here. All right, our, our halibut is done. Yeah, our halibut's done out of the oven. So when you see, it, it's just, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just baked gently, right? Mm -hmm. Real gentle. A little bit of the lemon olive oil, just kind of right over the top of the fish. Your ragu of your morels, your peas, and the ramps. Wow, that's great. It's, in Italian, it would be more or less like a brodetto, something where you, you have a real nice light broth. I love it. All right. And then lastly, what yes. we'll do is we'll take Jude and Jack's their herbs, their, their they herbs, will be so their, happy, their right? efforts. Yeah, they're 
I've heard they're cheering on right now. Oh, that's terrific. Hi, guys. Hey, Jude. Dad's hey, doing Jax. great. So we take these mustard greens. They're garlic mustard, it's called. Go ahead and hop in and oh, pick, I'll pick help. away. So sure. We love to cook with with you know wild forage uh, flowers. Wow. Um, and, and I wish everyone at home could smell this because this is really a treat, and we're going to enjoy it for lunch. Thank you Perfect. so much My for being pleasure. here. Uh, we can follow you on Instagram Absolutely. and Facebook with the Cottage uh, in Westport. Thank you. Very good. All right. Uh,